After a cold night, attrition had hit headquarters platoon hard. By morning, we were down to a single squad. What was left of headquarters went out on a recon mission to observe the Russian PB and inform command when the Russians moved out for the final assault. Now for this next part, I'm sorry to say, but my GoPro froze on me and was not able to capture what came next. I'm sorry, but I'll try to describe what happened as best as I can. I was forward from the rest of the squad observing the Russians with binoculars. Suddenly, the entire Russian force moved out, using the valleys between the hills to conceal their movement and came between me and the rest of my squad. Miraculously, they never spotted me, but they found and eliminated the rest of my squad. As the Russians moved off, I slipped forward and destroyed all the medic water I could find. Then I moved in and revived my squad. So, my stupid GoPro managed to freeze up on me, which is unfortunate. We'll find out later how much of it I actually caught on camera. But, as it stands, I got it on the selfie camera and the zoom camera. Somehow, someway, the entire Russian force just walked past me. They didn't realize that I was on a hill just above them. They saw the rest of the recon squad, unfortunately, but they didn't see me. So, I got rid of all of their water at their CCP. So yeah, in case the GoPro didn't catch it earlier, here is all of their lovely water. And that's the intel piece that a Russian was kind enough to give me last night. So, yeah, go NATO. Pull out your tourniquet from your pocket and oh. prepare it to be easily applied so we're not cheating. Medic, where? Oh. Hey, we need TQs, dude. All of you need to yeah. be TQ'd? Oh, yeah, I TQ yeah. on TQ all of them. Will okay. you TQ me? Because. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, okay, but I don't want to carry that around my pockets I anymore. Got I got it. I'm the medic. Once you get one, you got one. All right, come get me. Eager to get back into the action, we started advancing on the rear of the Russians. Fire no. Fire? No. No. Oh, they haven't. Correct. All right. Okay, guys, this way. This way. Push left. Push left. Push left. Push down, push down. Get, get behind the ridge, get behind the ridge. Watch left side. Buddy, aid! 
Buddy aid. Press, press. I need. You're up, you're up. That's what I get for trying to save you, Ken. Yeah, I died three seconds earlier than I would have died. <laughs> three seconds! Three whole seconds taken away from me! <laughs> no, no, ten shots in the three seconds. Hey guys, hey! Hey, pick up. We're walking back to the PB for the casualty collection. Affirmative! Bleed out! <laughs> Now back at the NATO PB, we prepared ourselves for the final assault. Unfortunately, there wasn't a lot to hide behind, and it was against the rules to dig trenches. So we just had to make do with what we had and prepare our butts. Here, grab some of these logs. We start filling in that gap. You got a few more moments. Hey, get ready to press these guys. Sit down on your ass. Lay down, find a little hole to shoot from. Hey, lay down, lay down. Don't shoot over the top. Where shoot do you out want, of a hole. Where do you want Davis, Jake, and I? Hey, Jake, Jew, I want you halfway up the hill. I'm just gonna be just across from you, okay? We got more coming around to the rear! Pass it down! We got more flanking around to the rear! Left to right. Base of the hill, base of the hill, behind the rocks! What's up? I wonder if we should go support that. What? Got him! We got two squads pushing around to the rear, watch yourselves!
Okay. Getting close. Can you drag me back? Ah, buddy! Ed! Ah! Go, 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 go! Thank you. I appreciate your efforts. Thank you for your service. I was like, the kill was real anyway. Ah! Thank you so much for watching. This Milsim West was tough to be NATO, but I still had a lot of fun like always. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to receive Airsoft content every Friday. Until next time, remember the primary rule of Airsoft. Don't be a douchebag.